Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Damali. In this video, we will cover everything you need to know about the software development lifecycle or SDLC for short. Whether you are a seasonal developer or just starting out, stay tuned for a deep dive into SDLC core principle and real world application. Let's dive in. Software Development Lifecycle or SDLC is like a roadmap that guides the development of a software application. Think of it as a set of a well-defined steps and processes that software developers follow to create high quality software product. The phases of SDLC consist of several distinct phases and each phase plays a specific role in the development process. Here are the phrases. Requirement gathering. In this initial phase, developers work closely with stakeholders. Stakeholders are those who have interest in the software to gather and document what the software needs to do. It's like creating a detailed to-do list for the project. Once the requirements are clear, the design phase begin. Here, developers create a blueprint or plan for how the software will look and function. It's similar to architectural plans for building a house. System implementation or coding or development. This is where the actual coding or programming of the software take place. Developers write the code that brings the design to life, turning concept into functional software. System testing. After writing the code, the software goes through a rigorous testing phase. Testers evaluate the software to find and fix any bugs or issue. Imagine it as a quality control to ensure the software works correctly. Staging. In the context of software development and deployment, staging refers to a specific environment or phase in the development lifecycle where software changes are tested before being released to the production environment which is the live or operational environment that end user interact with here's more detailed explanation of staging staging environments staging server a staging environment is a replica of the production environment that closely mimic its configuration including hardware software and network settings. The primary purpose of staging environment is to thoroughly test the software changes, update or new features in a control settings before they are deployed to the, the production environment. Staging serves as a bridge between the development environment where coding and initial testing occur and the production environment. Key function of staging testing developers developers and quality assurance team uses the station environment to conduct various types of testing including functional testing integration testing performance testing and security testing this helps identify and resolve issues or bugs before they reach the production environment staging allows stakeholders to validate the, that the software changes meet the requirements and expectation sets during the development phase. It provides an opportunity to confirm that the new feature or update work as intended. Once the software passes testing and staging, it's ready to be deployed, which means making it available to users. This could involve installing it on your server, publishing it online, or distributing it to its users. System operation and maintenance. After deployment, the software isn't finished. It requires ongoing maintenance and support. Developers provide updates, fix bugs, and ensure that the software remains functional and secure. Imagine you have been involved in developing an e-commerce website. After successfully completing the development and deployment phases of the SDLC, your website is live and serving customers. Now, it's time to focus on system operation and maintenance to ensure the website's ongoing functionality, security, and improvement. After launching an e-commerce website, some of the ongoing tasks may include monitoring continuously, tracking website performance, backtracking, identifying and fixing issues reported by users, security update, 
regularly applying software security patches, performance optimization, fine turning the site for speed, content update, keeping product and information current, backup and recovery, safeguarding data and having recovery plan, user feedback gathering and acting on user suggestions. So these are some tasks that you perform after your website goes live to make sure your website stay up, up to date and stay functional to the end customer.